Tiger Woods, a 46-year-old American professional golfer who is tied for the most PGA Tour victories, is recognized as one of the all-time greatest golfers. He's also one of the most famous athletes in modern history who wore name-fitting costumes to play golf. Also, the athlete was informed by the Saudi that he wouldn't want to fight against the Saudi regime. Watch this video to the end for details on these. First up, Tiger Woods wears a Tiger costume to play golf. Tiger Woods, Rory McIlroy, Colin Morikawa, Scotty Scheffler, and Tommy Fleetwood appeared on the tee in a peculiar outfit as part of the tailor-made Halloween film, Masked Swinger. The famous golfers were requested by tailor-made to dress up for Halloween and kick a ball. It was difficult to tell who the tigers, eagles, bees, horses, and dogs were hiding as. Fans of Tiger Woods are happy to see him with his club once more, but some have a concern after noticing an essential feature in the video of the five players since he's started swinging without a ball. Tiger is the only one who hasn't made a legitimate shot. This might imply that he won't be competing again soon. A family member had claimed that Woods wasn't at his best when he made the caddy for his son Charlie Woods at the end of September. Those who were hoping that Woods would be healthy enough to take part in the Hero World Challenge, a tournament he is organizing in the Bahamas early in December, may be let down. Woods should play in the PNC Championship father-son since he accepts to play in a cart during this exhibition tournament over 36 holes, but does not in an official tournament. Tiger Woods, whose real name is Eldrick Taunt Woods, is an American golfer, born in Cyprus on December 30th, 1975. He is recognized as the best golfer of the current era and one of the greatest players of all time. He has won 110 professional events over his more than 20-year career, including 15 majors, making him the most successful player in history. He has also held the top spot in the OWG World Rankings for a total of 683 weeks, including 200 181 straight weeks from June 12, 2005 to October 30, 2010. And he is the only golfer to have won all four major tournaments of modern times in a year between 2000 and 2001. He broke the record for the first athlete in sports history to earn more than $1 billion from wins and sponsors in 2014. The Presidential Medal of Freedom, the highest civilian honor in the U.S., was given to him in 2019 by U.S. President Donald Trump. Next up, Tiger Woods was informed by the Saudis that he doesn't want to fight against the Saudi regime. It is well known that athletes play a significant role in many situations and that they have the power to influence and change certain things through their voices. Saudi Yasser al Kayat is upset with Tiger Woods. This is due to the fact that Woods has never openly criticized the Saudi Arabian government. In March, Yasser al Kayat's brother was put to death. According to Mirror.co.uk, al Kayat stated that Woods said his allegiance to the PGA Tour and respect for golf's past are the reasons he rejected the tour. By taking a position against sports washing, he aims to persuade Woods to speak out against it as a matter of principle. He further stated that Saudi Arabian government killed his brother Mustafa for daring to demand the same fundamental human rights that Woods has in the United States. He said his brother was one of the 81 men who perished earlier this year in the biggest mass execution in the nation's history. At the Formula One race this year in Jeddah, Lewis Hamilton stood up for the victims of Mohammed bin Salman's oppression dictatorship, earning the enduring admiration of every Saudi family who has suffered for wanting their people to live in a free country. He concluded by saying that he requests that Woods shout louder in the name of his brother and make sure that the incident is never forgotten. One of the human rights activists, Jeed Baisyoni, underscored the reason why golfers do not want to discuss Saudi Arabia and the regime. Jeed Baisyoni stated that organizers made sure LIV golfers competing recently in Saudi Arabia didn't have to answer any challenges questions. And it's simple to understand why no one wants to upset the apple cart by bringing up human rights when the winner receives $4 million and the last place finishers receive $120,000 just for showing up. Jeed Baisyoni thinks that the world needs to act quickly. The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia is still a nation where minors, nonviolent drug offenders, and persons exercising their right to free expression are condemned to death, despite the country's best efforts to persuade the world to the contrary. Additionally, the likely of the next mass execution increases with each athletic event that unquestioningly presents the false image that the Saudi rulers want the world to see. 
Next up, Greg Norman reveals the players he will be pursuing in the upcoming season. Many people are happy with the entire procedure once the LIV golf season is complete. Leadership in LIV golf has demonstrated that it is up to the task. LIV golf is still being fought against by the PGA Tour, although it is unclear how successful it will be. The Saudis' wealth may be a serious issue. Is there a chance that further PGA Tour players may join LIV golf? Greg Norman disclosed that six, seven players are most likely to join LIV golf. He said they are essentially searching for around seven players. PGA Tour players appear to be very interested in taking part of this competition. Despite the fact that many decline the offer, many think that this time will be different. They can't receive the kind of money from the PGA Tour that the Saudis are willing to offer. It is unclear if that will serve as the sole or primary motivation. The final choice will be influenced by a variety of circumstances. Sincerity be damned, these players still communicate with one another when they observe what goes on in LIV nowadays. The players on LIV experience a sense of liberation. Greg Norman said that there are PGA Tour athletes with whom they are now in contact and who desire liberation. As reported by GolfMonthly.com, Greg is confident that most PGA Tour players will visit LIV Golf. That is their aim. All that is left for them to do is thoroughly consider their choice. Next, upon his return, Tiger Woods said people don't understand what he had to go through. Tiger Woods continues to struggle as a result of his injury, which is still healing. Fans are growing impatient since Woods hasn't played as frequently this year. They are hoping for Woods to return soon, which is a possibility. There have been reports that Tiger Woods will play alongside Rory McIlroy and Justin Thomas at The Match in December. Woods could, however, make an appearance at the Hero World Challenge, which would be fantastic. He recently discussed his physical state and the issues he is facing. He said that people don't understand the struggles he faces or the hours he spends working on his physique both before and after the procedure he just underwent. Woods feels that his troubles are very serious and that his supporters are not seeing the whole picture. Recovery might be lengthy, but as of right now, we don't know for sure. His reappearance would undoubtedly make us delighted. He thinks people don't grasp it. Then you consider playing in more events on top of that, he said it was challenging enough to complete what he accomplished. Woods said that just playing the three events he participated in this year is difficult. That was a huge accomplishment in and of itself. Given what has happened, he is surprised he was able to participate in these three events. Woods is still engaged in the golf world even if he is currently recovering. Next up, the latest edition of The Match will feature participation from Tiger Woods, Rory McIlroy, Justin Thomas, and Jordan Spieth. The fried egg provided the initial news coverage after an NFL quarterback battle was conducted in June, the four superstars agreed to participate in the exhibition series, which will be staged for the seventh time and second in 2022. At the Pelican Golf Club in Bel Air, Florida, on December 10th, the match will take place. The competition will last 12 holes and is scheduled to begin at 7 p.m. under lights. Aid for those affected by Hurricane Ian will be provided by event proceeds. Woods will be participating in the match for the third time. In November 2018, he took part in the initial match against Phil Mickelson. He later made a comeback in 2020 to join up with Peyton Manning to defeat Mickelson and Tom Brady in the charity event held at the start of the epidemic. McElroy, Spieth, and Thomas will be making their debuts, though Thomas did serve as a pundit during the aforementioned 2020 charity match. In order to promote Payne's Valley Golf Club, the first public access golf course created by Woods' TGR design firm, and to generate money for the Payne Family Foundation, Woods, McElroy, and Thomas took part in a similar demonstration in September 2020. That is all we have for you today, my friends. We have taken a quick look into the life of Tiger Woods. What other sport or athlete do you want us to feature? Inform us via the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.